Good morning. Welcome to Craft a Story. Um, my name is Celeste and, you know, just lately I've been seeing a lot of, well, should I say lately, probably in a couple of months, I've seen folks online making their own stamp pads. And at first I thought, oh, I don't know about that. You know, it's probably going to dry out. Um, but, oh, oh, I don't know. I had reservations, but you know, I really should try something before I have my reservations because I did try one eventually and it turned out so amazing. Um, so I take back all my reservations and I hope to put this, put it back as inspiration. So let me show you um, the stamp pad that I made and the ombre effect that I was trying to achieve. Um, and I was doing it with some of these older watercolors that I've still got in my stash that I'm not using and I think I might have had for a couple of years now and I'm a bit worried that they're going to get old so I'm going to use them up. So let me show you just an example before we go and make our own. Um, these are just two stamp examples but here is the stamp itself and I'm going to just activate it. Um, I've got some watercolor on here. I'm going to just spray off the camera here. I don't want to spray on my paper. Just plain old water. And let's see if maybe I use this stamp. And I'll just get it well coated. And let's see how that turned out. I think it might be a bit wet. A mm, little bit. I didn't wet it enough. I thought I'd wet it too much, but I didn't wet it enough. Okay, so basically that is the stamp. Um, I've got some other examples here that I did earlier with the same um, stamp pad. And I might have used up some of the ink on it, I'm thinking maybe, because I see some bare patches there okay that might mean I need to put a little bit more paint on it but here's some more examples with that same um, stamp pad so let me show you how I made it um, first thing you're going to need is the stamp pad part itself and I haven't seen people use the quick erasers. I've just got these from the dollar store. We get two in a box. Um, I've seen them use a bunch of other types of, of foam. Um, but this one is working just as well. It's a nice dense foam. Um, so that's, that's your first thing that you're going to need. The second thing um, is to add some kind of little tab. So that you can pick it up out of your container easily. And not get yourself full of paint, <laughs> which I always do somehow. So I've got a blister pack from something that we bought at some point, somewhere along the line. <laughs> and um, be careful, you guys. This plastic is sharp and it's easy to cut yourself. So I'm just going to cut a small piece that I can paste onto the back here. And I think that should be a sort of half cut a piece already. I'm going to cut it off. And this is from a blister pack. Probably from a cosmetic of some kind that we bought. And I don't need a very big piece. So just like that. And this is like that. And there's some sharp bits on the side. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay. And it doesn't have to be perfectly square or rectangle. Because it's just utilitarian. It's not... It's not pretty. It doesn't need to be pretty. And honestly, Fabri-Tac is going to work perfectly for this. I'm going to get some of the Fabri-Tac down onto this piece of plastic, onto some of this blister pack that we just cut off. And I'm going to just unceremoniously plonk it. <laughs> there you go. It's on. It will dry nicely. It... Um, adheres really well. I used Fabri-Tac on that other one and it worked really well. So just a little piece of, uh, what's this stuff called, a duct tape. I'm going to fold it in half, but I'm not going to 
stick it all the way. I'm just going to stick that sort of in there and leave it almost like, oh gosh, 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 don't, ah, it's sticking. Sugars. All right, let's see if I can, I dropped it. Let's see if I can undo it. All right, I messed that one up. I'm going to need a new piece. Uh, what did I do with it? Here it is. Uh, no, okay. It'll have to be flamingos this time. <laughs> the other one didn't work. Maybe we'll have better luck with the flamingos. Okay. Piece off here. Just, there you go. Okay, flamingos. You be nice to me, okay? Please. <laughs> All right, we're just going to go halfway, leave this sort of butterfly end, and I probably didn't need to close it as much, but that's okay. And then just get that down. All right, so there you go. So now we have the flamingos. Well, I guess flamingos have wings, right? <laughs> okay, it's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> But anyway, so we've got our, our picker upper, which is great. That's all we need now. And I think, I don't think there's any glue coming out the side. So I'm just going to keep going. And since I had um, more of a sort of fall brown leafy autumn shading on this one, I want to do something quite a bit different. So I think let's pull out some red and purple and maybe some white um what else do i think might work i think maybe and this blue let's see how that might work so i'm going to take i don't have a lot of the white left so i'm just going to um i'm going to use it almost as if it's going to be a a mixer between the colors i don't know how this is going to turn out we're doing this together as far as what the color combination is going to be. Um, we shall see. Let me put a bit of the, the red. Um, some of the, the purple. I was looking up online just to see how much... Um, the, the watercolor paints are because I thought what if I want to do this again and I've run out I now I have a space here I'm going to just put a bit of red in as well and just just see I don't know what's going to happen um, what you're going to need now is a spatula of some kind and just get this paint smushed in and I can already see I don't have nearly enough paint, I don't think. Mm, I don't think I have enough, so I'm going to have to put a bit more down. So maybe this is a little, um, takes a bit of, quite a bit of paint. But I think that this stamp pad is going to last quite a long time. Because if I'm saturating it with this much color and I just keep activating it with the water, um, it probably, I think I'm going to be using up all this white, it probably will last you quite a while. And maybe you want to make smaller ones. Maybe you want to cut this in half. And having done this now, I'm wondering if that's not what I should have done. But maybe next time. I can make a smaller one. Okay, let's get this smushed in like that. Oh, I actually think this is going to be nice. I think it's going to work out well. Let's see. Not everything I try works, but at least I tried, right? see some of that in there 
almost has a <laughs> I'm kind of looking at this almost has a, like a 4th of July look to it now without the purple but um, yeah so maybe this can be have a 4th of July themes um, I don't have any of that kind of stamp but all right let me leave it at that and let's see how we do if this turned out to be any any good at all I'm gonna have to just quickly close my my little tubes I don't want to dry out the little bit that I've got left here because I might still be able to make a few more of these stamps and get this closed up I'm trying to work quickly okay here's my piece of paper let me get rid of some of this stuff and I have a Tupperware dish that I will store it in. Um, let's see. What should we... I have this little stamp. I wonder if that'll work. Let's see how that'll... How that might work out. So I'm going to just spray some of this water to activate the paint. I'm going to spray off camera. Okay. Um, so this little stamp is not as big as the stamp pad. So I get to choose whether I go up there or down here. And I think there's more variation of color here. Um, so I'm going to go up there. Just see what we get. Let's see what we get. Give it a bit of a squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, I like that. Where is that, um, where is that butterfly? The butterfly does have some of the other color on it, but I'm just gonna, I don't have anything here to clean it off with, so I'm just going to cheat. Okay, let's see how that turned out. Oh my goodness, <gasps> look at that, this works, <laughs> so I am pleasantly surprised, um, let's see what else we can do, I have this stamp here, let's see if that works, I'm going to just give a little bit of, another little spray, and of course your color combinations are endless, um, you may want to do an ombre effect where you had maybe a, a darker maroony red to a red to a pink and you have that ombre effect which is kind of what I was trying to achieve on this one not sure that I quite got that but that was what I was trying to achieve um, but that is obviously an option too let's see how we do with this flower design if I give it a nice little squeeze and you can re-ink <laughs> repaint, re add more color. Um, I don't think this will ever really go dry. Somebody um, whose video I was watching um, recommended against using acrylic paint, but then somebody else said, no, no, oh, it's a little faint, but that might just be the stamp that's so um, delicate. But maybe if I came in later, um, let's see this one. Um, if okay, so that's obviously an option too to just go straight down, and let's see how that turns out. Um, yeah, so somebody else said no, no, you can use acrylic paint. Just add um, a little rubbing alcohol. One part rubbing alcohol, one part water, but they didn't say how much of each. Um, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Goodness gracious, that is so, so pretty. Look at that. It's the sky. Um, I, to me, I think this is a success. Um, so the watercolors definitely work. Um, I think that this other one that I have been using, have used a couple of times, um, I actually think that I'm going to have to add more paint. It doesn't seem to seep into the sponge very much, and maybe it will with time. 
as I add more and more paint and more and more water and squish it a bit more, maybe it'll be more saturated, I don't know. Um, this is just still very new. But at the end of the day, I have two stamps. Um, both are very, very different and both worked beautifully. So, just as examples, and we'll take some of this stuff away. Just as examples, um, I came in with um, some of my, my gold and silver and um, pen pens and black markers and so on. And just colored in this little butterfly because of the, there was so much white space. Um, so that came in beautifully. And then on this one, I just colored in the flower with a silver pen and the leaves with a green marker. Um, I was trying to do the same with some of these others. Um, so you can see how different. How different these two are. Um, so if you have a very frilly, feminine, girly um, card or, or journal that you're working on, that might work better. If you're doing more of a field journal, something more fall, autumn themed, this one's going to be your go-to, or at least would be for me. So yeah, no, look at those two. Those two are so different. Beautiful. I just love this. I think it worked perfectly. So you guys, um, let me leave this here and you can see, um, just plain old watercolors. I did see some online on Amazon, a set of $12, $9. Um, so if you are wanting to make your own stamp pads, you, I don't think you need very much. I think you probably get four or five stamp pads out of a tube, depending on how much color, of course, you use on the stamp pad. A little bit of water, um, some of this duct tape and a little glue, some plastic to put on the back of your stamp pad, and you're good to go. So I hope that you try this. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you used any um, of the other paint mediums, maybe the water, maybe the acrylic paints um, with the alcohol. I haven't tried that. If you do, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know if that worked for you. All right, you guys, this was just a quick little experiment that I worked, that I think, I think it worked. I, I I'm going to use this um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for visiting with me. Bye.